Ola Cheska here. I'm going to show you how I made this cornhole game out of scrap wood and sewed these bean bags, which are actually corn bags, out of some canvas that I had. I had some scrap plywood, but I didn't have enough to make these standard or regulation size, so I only could go as large as my scraps would allow me to. I laid the boards on top of each other and I made sure that they were the same size and then I cut. So I found the center of my board which was 7 and 5 8 inch and then 8 inches down from the top I marked my center. Then I lined up my clear bowl with that center mark. However if you don't have a clear bowl you'd have to divide the diameter of your bowl by 2 on the top and bottom and then center accordingly. Or you can just eye it because it's not supposed to be regulation size anyway. It's just for your family to have fun, which was what this was for me. My bowl was about 5.5 inches in diameter, so I just lined it up and then traced out a circle. Next I needed to do some pilot holes so that I can cut out this center circle. Then I used my Dremel rotary tool to cut out the circle. I went ahead and sanded it with a file, but you can use about an 80, 100 grit to smooth out that circle. Then I cut a 10 inch plywood the same width as my board and a 1.5 inch plywood the same width as my board out of the scrap I had. So with the top side or the right side of my cornhole board, I'm going to have that laying down facing the table I'm working off of. And with this 1.5 inch, I'm going to put it on the back side of the board, on the bottom of my cornhole board and I'm going to line up the bottom so it's flush and use some clamps to hold it in place so that I can turn it over and pre-drill about four holes, also countersink each hole and then screw in four wood screws to hold that in place. And this is going to act as a little lift so that is not sinking into the ground or if the grass is a little high it just gives it enough lift to get off of the ground thank you so then i bought this ever built two and a half inch pair of door hinges and I'm using that for the top 10 inch board that I had cut. I'm going to line up the 10 inch board on the back side of the board and then I just made a mark for a reference. Then I lined up my hinges where I wanted them to be and I marked the screw holes on each of them. Then I wrapped a piece of tape around my drill bit so that I can pre-drill. However, I didn't want to go too far through the wood so I, that's where the tape comes in handy, I know where to stop. So I pre-drilled and then I went ahead and screwed in the screws. When this 10 inch board folds down, you will have a little bit of a gap. And I did sand this entire project with about an 100 grit sandpaper, wiping it down with a lint free paper towel. Just had some leftover wood stains, so I just used what I had. I can't remember what stain it was. This is also some leftover paint I had. It's a sample paint. And what I did was I used some cheap painter tape from the Dollar Tree and just threw it on the board after the stain had dried. Then I went ahead and painted it this light gray color. And then I picked up the tape after it had about an hour to dry. So it wasn't completely dried, but it was still a little wet. And it gave me the clean line. Then once the light gray, it's almost a white really, once that dried, I went ahead and taped down the center and used some leftover gold paint. If you are going to leave this outside, definitely want to make sure you seal it a few times so that it can withstand the weather outside. Moving on to the sewing and assembly of the bean bags themselves. 
So I had leftover canvas because I have leftover fabric for everything. I used this deep red and a khaki color. So you want two different color fabrics. And I chose this because it's a tougher fabric that will be able to withstand being outside and thrown around versus like a cotton. And then I cut two seven inch squares for each bean bag that I wanted to make. So if you want to make five bean bags, then you need 10 squares. If you do get this canvas and you want to press it, definitely give it a good soak and then press it out. It'll stay wet for a while, but it'll be fine. So then on one of my squares for each bean bag, I am drawing out the seam allowance so you can see it better. And I'm leaving a gap opening. I'm leaving about a two and a half, three inch gap opening so I can flip this. But I really wanted you to see the visual of where you're gonna sew. Using a half inch seam allowance, sew to each corner all the way around the project, leaving that gap opening. Pin two of the squares right sides together and then sew along that line that you drew. And if you are experienced sewer, you don't need to draw out these lines, but if you're not, I wanted to give you that visual. Start on one side of that opening and end on the other half. Now you also want to clip the corners, but you don't want to get too close to the corners, so you want to make sure that you're not snipping the thread that you sewed for that corner. Repeat for all four corners and then turn right sides out. And press your corners out, but if you use your scissors, make sure you be careful. Now what I did is I top stitch three sides of these flat. So with the opening still on one side and do not sew that close. I used a scale to measure out my corn so that all of the bean bags would be even in weight. And then I just used a scoop and scooped it in. So once I had that filled, what I did was threw some pins in the opening and then I also threw some pins to keep the corn down and out of my way while I sew. So it's gonna look like I have a lot of pins in there but it's really to keep them out of my way. So once I did my top stitch along the top edge, it looked pretty, however, I really wanted to reinforce that hole. So I did a second row of stitching. So on one side, there are two stitches, and on the other three sides, there's only one. So I hope this inspires you to make your own outdoor games for your family to enjoy. My family definitely has gotten enjoyment out of these and so has the bunny that has gotten into the corn bags. But I guess I should have taken those inside. However, the wood itself has been outside for over a year now and it's held up very well. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me have a speak it and spread it. And God bless. I got an old church choir singing in my soul.